because if anybody was uncertain of of um you know just how how this industry and how offshore oil on a whole um plays into into our local dynamic i think this incident really shows that you know um some thought should have been given into the fact that this isn't just a vessel um this is an oil rig and that it would have caused concern for people seeing it and and talking to the fishermen and and they were just as i said in complete shock um so it's unfortunate that that advance notice was not given um but i will say it it's been helpful in terms of um being able to document uh where belizeans are on this and i think it really goes to show that nobody wants any surprises when it comes to this issue and that until we have those safeguards in place then one day we could be waking up uh to an oil rig on our horizon and and then you know it will be too late for us to be involved in decisions around around that issue so that's where we 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 try to see the the silver lining in in these situations and i'm i'm really sorry that you know people understandably um were very concerned and and very um worried and and one person said oh i could breathe now you know um but you know seeing the the upside of this is that uh if we needed a pulse check on where where things are in terms of the local perspective on this issue i think we we got it today in in terms of um the situation it just goes to show belizeans uh, understandably and and deservedly uh want to be informed about what's happening in their waters and want to know who's who's moving through and who's doing what um here and and i don't think anybody should have a problem with that really because you know um this the ocean is a big place but it can't be out of sight out of mind and and we have a lot of people on the on the water all the time and